minutes, Procter & Gamble kept activist investor Nelson Peltz off its board. Not on your sides, Evan Millward is live at P&G headquarters where the company's CEO is declaring victory. Evan, what's going on? Ryan, he's declaring victory, but Nelson Pelt says this may not be over. He told us just a little bit ago that the margin of this vote is within single percentage points. And then just moments ago, CEO David Taylor told us he believes his company is on the right track, doing things the right way. But this hard-fought proxy battle has exposed uh, some insecurities, some concerns and unhappiness about how the company is operating, about its innovation, about its stock price, uh, and about the culture inside the company. Uh, this was a hard-fought proxy battle. At the shareholder meeting today, we heard a lot from CEO Taylor about innovation and transformation. No doubt, as a way to combat the narrative from Nelson Peltz and Tri-Ann Partners that we're trying to get a spot on this board to make change within the company. Nelson Peltz's argument has been that the company isn't competing. It's not innovating and that it is getting in its own way. Pelt spoke moments ago and told us he isn't conceding defeat just yet, and he intends to keep watching this company calling the vote just too close. If I were those guys, I would say magnanimously, Pelt's come on the board, okay? That would make a lot of people happy. The stock would start to go up. I'm happy that the 11 directors look, they've been reelected, but I'm also extraordinarily committed, as I know they are, to make sure we do the right things to continue to improve the results of this company and do it in a way that takes care of the short term, the mid term, and the long term results. And we'll do it the right way. The CEO David Taylor there uh, moments ago saying that he has reached out already to Pelt, says he wants to work with him, uh, but he believes that the strategy in place right now is a good one and they are going to stay that course. Nelson Peltz uh, saying this is within about one percentage point of a vote. The official certified results could be weeks away still. Uh, we will know more at that time. Peltz wouldn't say whether he's going to continue to invest in PNG. We've got a lot more reaction on this coming up throughout the evening right here on Nine on Your Side. Until then, we're live downtown. I'm Evan Millward. Back to you.